the AZ industry is rapidly changing, but your team doesn't have time to reinvent workflows for every new technology or client demand. ProjectWise, powered by iTwin, puts you in control and positions your firm for non-disruptive change. Whether you need to improve design quality, optimize existing processes, or even get started with digital delivery and digital twins, ProjectWise enables you to make the most of what you already have without starting over. Visit go.bentley.com forward slash podcast to see how ProjectWise is empowering AEC firms to do more with less. Once again, that's go.bentley.com forward slash podcast to learn more. Welcome to Engineering Influence, a podcast from American Council of Engineering Companies. And today we're going to be talking about something which is a very hot topic today. It's been a hot topic for a while, uh, just coming out of our uh, spring convention. Um, and a recent podcast we did with, uh, with the uh, CEO of BST Global talking about the rise of AI and its impact on the engineering industry, essentially what is AI? How is it um, you know, going to affect the way that firms do business now and into the future? It's one of the reasons that we're, we've launched a technology committee to really look at these emerging technologies and what the firm of the future is going to look like. And I was talking to Diana Alexander, our, our director of private market resources, and uh, she mentioned, oh, yeah, we're putting together a course on this very subject. And then I said, oh, okay, great idea for a podcast, because this is something that everybody's been talking about for a very long time. And uh, let's let's dig into it a little bit more. So on today's episode, uh, we want to talk about this course. It's AI and AEC. And uh, Diana, I, I you know, welcome back to the program as always. Thanks for having me, Jeff. So how, how did this course come together? What was the impetus of the course? Yeah, so you're absolutely right. Everybody is talking about AI, not just in the AEC industry, but in every industry. It is being looked at as like this dot-com boom. It is something that is coming. Uh, It's something that you can't stop. It's just whether or not you're going to be prepared and is your firm going to be positioned um, to take advantage of AI and be poised with that. So the reason this came about is we have a business development and marketing forum that meets every year. And in this past February, March, we met in Arizona and it overtook one of our open discussions and everyone was talking about ChatGPT. And we know there are a lot of other uh, applications and software out there right now that you can use beyond ChatGPT, for example, BARD and Microsoft has one. But that discussion kind of took over uh, one of our open forums and the entire group of about 65 guests talked about ChatGPT and AI and how it's going to transform uh, the way they respond to proposals or how they do their business development at their firm. And so when we came back, I sat down with our planning committee and they said, you know, we want to keep this momentum going. What can we talk about? Well, let's talk about AI. And so they said, we want to meet over the course of four months, do a lunch and learn style 
45 minutes of presentation, 15 for Q&A, because we're going to have a want to have a discussion about this topic with these excellent speakers and kind of dive into what's happening in AI, break it up into four parts, meet for an hour at a time, and, and really find out how this is going to apply to our industry and what we can really do to be prepared. Yeah. I, because it's it's really the big open question. I've heard everything from AI is going to make us be able to streamline um, work that was done by a team of people for you know not the uh, maybe not the engineering side of things, but for the business development, for the proposable response, um, for uh, just how you are communicating between client and but but there's not really an agreement on best practices or how to integrate it with your firm. So it's a, a perfect time, I think, to have that kind of a deeper dive. Now, like you said, you're going to look at kind of doing this as kind of a lunch and learn kind of style. And it's over a number of weeks, right? It's not just one week where you're doing this. It's going to be spread across time. That's right. It'll be a four part series. So the way we have it structure, structured is you can go online and you can sign up piecemeal for each session as you're able to attend, or you can sign up for all four. Uh, and we'll put a link to the show notes here in our podcast, but just quickly, some of the dates are August 3rd will be an introduction to AI in the AEC industry. And this one will be led by Kristen Kautz, and she's actually from Jam Idea Agency, and she's going to talk about why AI, why now. You know, this is going to kind of give you the language to go back to your firm and say, this is why we need to do it. This is what we need to do to get on board, and we need to do it now. Uh, I would recommend everybody attending this one on August 3rd. It will also be recorded. So if you can't make it that day, you can always join at a later time and want, uh, watch it whenever you need to. Uh, the next one is content development and application, application integration. And this is going to be all about the tools on September 14th. And they'll all be from 12 to 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And this one's going to go through every tool that's available out there. And we'll have two speakers, Frank Lazaro, who's a chief marketing officer for Sobo, and then Ida Chainman, who's a principal and creative director for Substance 151. And they will also give a live demo of how you actually prompt certain questions into these chat GPTs and other softwares to see what kind of answer you can get. I mean, it's amazing. You can write in there, you know, tell me my top 10 engineering competitors for, you know, MEP work in South Carolina and have between 500 to 100 employees and give me their name, address, and title and phone number. And it will just, it is a great market research tool. And that is really great for BD people because it just spews out a ton of information. Uh, and then there'll be two more sessions. Uh, the third will be in October on the 25th, and this is Adopting AI into Your Firm. And this is Mehdi Norbash, who is the CEO, and he's also uh, written a book on AI augmented reality. And he also is actually implementing AI at an ENR top 100 firm right now. And he's going to use that as like a case study to show how you get this into your firm and give you kind of a step-by-step -step process to do that. And then the final one is on Tuesday, November 14th is a legal and ethical review. Um, we're going to have a speaker from Timmins Group, Lillian Venix, who's a marketing and communications manager, and then also Brent Britton, who is a core X legal uh, partner attorney uh, who is focused on IT and technology and AI being used in firms. So everyone has the question, it, it's interesting that it's out there, but how do I apply it safely in my firm and maybe create some policies for implementing that? Yeah, it's it's a great kind of a spectrum of subjects. It's kind of from the start to finish, right? And 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 everything in between about just, you know, introduction of what exactly this is all the way to actually how do you implement it with your firm. So it's it's a nice survey of what's going on right now in AI. And I think that you know, it's a good example of what's come out of your of your forum right now. I mean, the business development and marketing forum is uh, is something which is growing um, in in just scope, right? I mean, this is relatively new, um, and you've had some events, but uh, th these are the kind of things that's growing out that are that are growing out of uh, of the forum so far. You know, where can people learn more about the uh, BDM forum? 
Yeah, so you can go on to uh, our ACC.org and under our Get Involved, uh, there are different communities and you can join the business development and marketing community. Uh, you do not need to be a BD and marketing specialist or have that in your title. We actually have a lot of principals and CEOs of smaller firms that wear dual hats and are seller doers at their firm. And they also come uh, to our event for strategic planning and to get some more ideas to drum up some new business. Uh, this will be our third third upcoming year of the BDM forum meeting. Uh, it has sold out the past two years. Uh, I will say it's grown to about 65 and we actually had some people show up that I just had to get extra chairs for and that was great. Uh, I will say this coming um, fall of 2024, we are actually going to be rejoining with the other critical business functions, uh, IT, uh, human resources, uh, finance, and we'll all be together and we're going to expand to at least 100. So across all of those groups, we're looking at about 400 people, which is going to be, it, it's everybody that isn't necessarily an engineer, but it's all the business functions that support engineering, architecture, and construction with our industry in, in one place. So it's, it's really, really exciting. And I'm glad to have them represented there. Yeah, it, it's growing. I mean, it, it's great to have that representative uh, of, of just, you know, everything that makes a firm work, right? right. From health, IT, um, finance, everything coming together and, and learning about, you know, how, how best to manage your firm and, and, and best practices. And this is going to be case in point. I think technology is going to become even more critical as, as we move forward. And engineering firms, as as uh, Harvey or Barden uh, mentioned uh, when we when we spoke about BST Global, you know, all engineering firms are going to be digital firms in in the very near future if they aren't already. And it's important to actually get ahead of the curve instead of being in a position where you're playing catch up. So a course like this is really important, especially like you said, if you're a, a CEO who's a uh, you know a doer and a seller at the same time trying to bring in business while you're getting client work done. You know, this is a great opportunity to get some, I guess, uh, you know, actionable information on an emerging technology that otherwise you wouldn't really have access to. I mean, I, I don't know how many other groups are doing this kind of a dive into AI, if any. I mean, I'll say it's definitely being talked about. And when we went out and started to look at speakers, the circle is not very large. So you'll you'll see these speakers are very well known. We even have um, a couple that do keynotes at larger conferences that will be speakers as part of this series. So they're really good gets. Uh, but being, that being said, they're very intelligent and and they take a deep dive into ai because that's their focus so even though we have a, a marketing consultant they do just ai for marketing or um, the yega tech company they're specifically implementing ai and and their experiences with working with aec clients and so their experience is going to be uh, far superior, I think. And the, the depth of knowledge that they have, and they're all passionate about AI too, right? So they, they all, they, they all believe in it. They, they, but also can offer a subjective view, especially down at Brett Britain from core X legal with the legal and ethical implications, things that you need to be asking yourself, what of AI does make sense of our firm? Um, or even those that don't want a full scale implementation of it, you know, drafting proposals, because that's a whole other can of worms. But just should we be letting them write, you know, contract responses? Should we be letting them write emails to our clients? There, there's a there even just a basic policy at your firm you need to have to say this is how you can use AI now while we're figuring things out. And then you've got the really far advanced ones that are already implementing it into their other applications and layering it into systems. I mean, they're creating images, they're creating newsletters there. And so that's the other thing is, is it going to replace our job? And people worry about that, like with, with engineers and or surveyors and digital twins, they wonder, is this going to replace my job? No, it's and that's what you'll learn in this series is what can we do to train our staff on how to use it and implement it so that you then become the expert on how to implement that AI, you, you know, create job security in that sense. So this is an opportunity for you to learn more. Yeah. I mean, with everyone I've, I've spoken to about AI, it's not a question of this is not going to replace you. This is going to actually enable your firm to do strategic planning to figure out in the future, what kind of people are you going to look to employ? 
And, you know, one of the things that keeps on popping up is the idea that you might not have, um, you might need a lot more data scientists or computer scientists um, uh, than you otherwise would if, uh, if, if AI wasn't around or becoming more of a matured uh, product, but it's probably going to change the makeup of your employees and a lot of people doing data analysis because AI is great at, you know, AI can't create anything new, but it can really do a good job of synthesizing and gathering existing information out there and then delivering um, on that kind of mountain of information that it can have access to, but it still takes somebody to synthesize that data when it comes out. And that's going to be the interesting way that the firms of the future are going to kind of, I guess, change. It's just, what's your mix, what's your mix of project teams and how many people are engineers, how many people are project managers, how many people are actually software people or computer scientists supporting those functions? Um, and yeah, I, you know, won't get that idea of, of what that mix could be unless you really dive in with, you know, a course like this where you're looking at how, you know, that, that third session of adopting AI into your firm. Um, so a lot of, I mean, a lot of really, really good information here. I can also tell you, Jeff, you're definitely going to get the latest data and latest of what's going on because all of my speakers have expressed to me that they are not going to be able to give me their presentation until the day before, because they said it is changing so fast every day. There's something new. They said, if I wrote it today, it'd be different tomorrow. So it's going to be, it's going to be the latest and greatest coming in hot before every session. So really looking forward to it. And go to uh, courses up in the education section. You'll find this again, it kicks off. Uh, really, August 3rd is the first course, but it will go until November 14th. It's uh, right now for ACEC members, it's $179. For non-members, $279. One PDH credit. Um, and, uh, you know, look at it. Get it live if you can do it. If not, get it when it's on demand because this information is going to be great for, for really all of our firms, large and small alike. So, Diana, congratulations on putting together another great, uh, compelling program. Um, you've been knocking it out of the park. So this is going to be a, uh, another example of that. So I hope a lot of people out there register for it and you get a great attendance. Thanks, Jeff. I'm looking forward to it. I will be attending as a former BD AEC staffer myself. Yeah. Absolutely. And again, uh, this has been another edition of Engineering Influence, a podcast from the American Council of Engineering Companies brought to you by Bentley Systems and their Project Wise uh, suite of software. And uh, again, we'll see you next time.